Have you ever wanted to raise chickens or get your own fresh eggs every day? Well, in this video, we'll discuss 10 things you want to consider if you want to raise chickens. And to be honest, it's been a very, very easy process. There really hasn't been that much work involved. I've just followed a few simple tips that I learned before I uh, got my own chickens. And it's really an awesome thing because every day I go out and I have a whole set of fresh eggs every morning. Uh, there's just a few basic things I follow. And so far I've had a lot of really good success with it. So I'd like to go over 10 things I learned and hopefully can get you started on raising chickens in an urban environment. Number one is check with your city ordinance. The first thing you want to do is find out what your city's rules are. I live in a suburban environment and my particular city is fine with raising chickens. They have a few simple rules which are really designed to make sure you're not bothering your neighbor, like where the chickens are located in conjunction to their house, and you really can't have roosters due to their noise. If you're not certain, contact your city hall. If everything checks out, then by all means go for it. Number two, find a local store that sells chickens. Why do I recommend this? Well, if you're new to raising chickens, it'll be good to find a store that can walk you through the details, which to be honest, there's really not many, and help you when you run into any issues to answer any questions you may have. Number three, chickens need a shelter. This is important to protect them against the elements and predators. I decided to just pick up a coop that was prefabricated when I got our chickens. If you do go the do-it-yourself route, be sure to have the following. Set up a roost for them, and they're comfortable sitting on these and even sleeping on them. It needs to have ventilation. My particular coop has a lot of fencing and ventilation on the back of the box where they sleep and lay their eggs. And also they'll need nesting boxes. This is a place that encourages them to lay eggs. I put down wood shavings here and it's really fascinating. They always lay the eggs in the same place every day in the same corner. It's actually really awesome instead of having to try to hunt down, you know, where do they lay their eggs today? They always just lay in the same place. Also make sure you have enough fencing for the box to keep predators from reaching through like possums, which will kill the chickens. You also have to be careful of the neighborhood cats and other animals that come out at night. So number four, what chickens like to eat? First of all, I give them chicken feed. The great thing about this is that it has most all necessary supplements they'll need to create a great egg in a hard shell. I just fill up their feeder and keep an eye on it. Number five is water. Be sure to give them plenty of clean water. I purchased the water when I got the chickens and I elevated it up on some bricks because they were pooping on it when I left it just on the ground. And so I ended up lifting it up so they weren't doing that. Be especially careful in the summer when it gets hot as it'll go through a lot of water and they can die quickly if they don't have enough. Number six, they like to take dust baths. Chickens really enjoy digging into the dirt to make a hole that they can lay in and flap their wings to give themselves a dust bath. It helps keep their wings clean and free parasites. Number seven, chickens produce a lot of poop. Uh, this was the thing that kind of caught me off guard when I first got into chickens. I think I envisioned that they would just keep it in the chicken coop, but man, they cover the ground in this stuff. Fortunately, I haven't found it to smell, but the downside is that it attracts flies, which is a problem over the summer causing me to have to set up fly traps everywhere. Number eight is temperature regulation. During the summer, you want to keep them in the shade. And during the winter, just know that adult chickens can handle the cold. Where I live, fortunately, it doesn't get too cold. But if it dips down into the 20s in your area, you're going to want to consider getting a heat lamp. Number nine is the amount of space. Regarding space, the minimum rule of thumb is about two to three square feet per chicken inside the chicken coop and about eight to 10 square feet per chicken in an outside run. Number 10 is just go for it. <laughs> My personality type is that I tend to plan out everything in advance. But with the chickens, I kind of went for it on a whim and it's been really easy overall. As long as you have food and water, they're good. And most days I just walk out in the morning, let them out, get the eggs, give them some dried worms, and then come back to close their coop at night. That's really it. As long as you follow these tips that I outlined in the video, they'll deliver nice fresh eggs for you. Again, I can't emphasize how easy they are. So there you have it. 